All right, we're here with Tanner Fishbach at Aces Bar and Grill, Middleburg Heights. Um, what can you tell us about how your campaign started and uh, what you want to do for Cuyahoga County? Okay, we started in October. We were the first Republican, uh, I was the first Republican candidate to announce in October. And, and people go, you know, why are you running for Cuyahoga County in a blue county? You know, and I go, well, listen, I'm here to make change. I am twisting it up. We need a new, fresh mind in office. Someone that doesn't have the uh, corruption in them. But not all politicians do. But we need to get away, away from, you know, Frank Russo and Jimmy DeMora. We need to step a new mind in there with a new political idea. And someone that has been a taxpayer and hasn't been in the public sector their whole life. And what people want with Democrats and Republicans, not just the whole group. Now, my guess, you're 19 years old. Most of these people have been politicians yes, for, for longer than life. 19 and, years. And, and a lot of people, you know, been politicians for 19 years, you know, 19 years or even longer than I, you know, been living. But here again, the burden is already on my generation and they've been doing the same tactics and that hasn't been working for the past 19 years. So we need to make sure that my generation comes back to Cleveland where the jobs need to be at so we're not going to become the next Detroit. Okay, We need private sector jobs here and what they're doing is they are destroying private sector jobs in Cuyahoga County. They've been using the same plans, everything's been the same. We need a, uh, you know next four years to change it up. No, that's not how it's happened. We need to make a plan and have it done now. And we need to talk to these companies to bring jobs to Cleveland. Um, one, one issue, and I'm going to get that guy drinking there, um, <laughs> that is a hotbed issue right now is yeah, the syntax. Yeah. Um, how would you approach an issue like that? Okay, with the syntax, this is how it is. Uh, I don't support it. I, I feel that it should be abolished. But here again, what the past politicians did to us, we have to pass it no matter what. Because if we don't pass it, that's going to go on the burden of the city of Cleveland and our general funds, which we can't do that. Because if they take that, if we go into the general funds, we're going to have to eliminate, eliminate public sector workers and more politicians and more, uh, you know, we're... Uh, uh, work on the streets and, you know, just anything that relates to uh, service for the city of Cleveland or any, you know, service for the Cuyahoga County. So I feel like that we need to pass it no matter what. But I don't support it, but we need to because they, they can raise our taxes, people on a limited income. Uh, it just, we just need to. So the big question will be, what qualifications do you have at such a young age? You know, a lot of people love that question because I like to tell them, uh, I don't have any qualifications with the public sector workers. I have qualifications with normal taxpayers, and I've been in sales. I've been with my same job for the past six years, okay? I talk to the people on the streets. I'm a regular taxpayer. Mo most of uh, my family, my friends are Democrats. I'm the only Republican. And I hear what they have to say, and we need to step away from what they're you know what they have you know these other politicians with great qualifications that's good but you need to get away from those you need to step out and hear what the taxpayers have to say your qualifications on a piece of paper that you spent a hundred thousand dollars on isn't helping Kyle County now already um, as illustrated in today's plain dealer um, some people want to deride you for your age and what do you how do you comment to that I. I think they're scared and they don't want to try something new, especially with a young person like myself that hasn't experienced the real world, as they would say. But we need to realize, and they know it too, but they're not going to admit it. Are the same old politicians in office, like Jimmy DeMore and Frank Russo, that have been stealing from Cuyahoga County, they're better than a young kid. Like, they're much better because they have more experience in their age. But here again, my age doesn't matter in this. It has nothing to do with... Uh, uh, qualifications are running for office. I, I think that's my personal opinion. Well, we thank you for your time and best of luck with the oh, fundraiser. Thank you. Thank you.